and welcome to Realty News Roundup. Here are the top stories of the day. In some good news for consumers, the government has added education or educational institutions and housing and real estate services under the definition of public utility services which can be covered by Lok Adalats. So if a housing project delays possession but fails to pay interest or an educational institution refuses admission on frivolous ground, people can now approach a local dalit for a faster redressal than going to a regular court. The National Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission has asked Gurkha-based builder Unitech to refund around Rs 4 crore to a group of 8 home buyers for delaying possession of their homes in Gurkha. The buyers had bought apartments in Unitex Vistas project in 2010 and had moved court after the builder failed to deliver their apartments in three years' time. Concerned about increasing air pollution caused by construction dust, the Environment Pollution Control Authority has asked pollution control boards and civic authorities in NCR to submit details of all construction projects spanning 20,000 square meters or more by month end. These will typically be group housing projects, plotted residential colonies and commercial projects like malls, IT parks and industrial units. The Pollution Control Body, which has been appointed by the Supreme Court, has identified a nodal officer to inspect these sites. The central government today gave its nod for the construction of over 80,000 houses to be built in urban areas in seven states for the economically weaker sections at a cost of Rs 4,000 crore. The houses will come up in 163 cities. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Poverty Elevation said a total central assistance of Rs 1,226 crore at the rate of Rs 1.5 lakh each for each house will be provided under the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana for West Bengal, Telangana, Bihar, Mizoram, Rajasthan, Jharkhand and Uttarakhand. The 16-lane DLF Huda Expressway connecting NHA with Gulf Coast Road may get delayed. The DLF has written to Haryana Urban Development Authority seeking a nine-month extension to complete the project. Huda had earlier extended the deadline by six months. Till now, only about two-thirds of the work has been completed. The expressway is an 8.3 km signal-free corridor linking NHA with Kurgaon's Golf Coast Road and will help reduce traffic congestion in the city. Thank you for watching. For latest updates, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Instagram.